As you work on your or a client's Google business profile account, at some point you may actually decide that you need some assistance and you want to reach out to Google. And for your sake, I really hope that that doesn't happen to you because that can be nothing short of frustrating to try to get any help from them and get a clear answer, especially in a timely manner. With that being said, I still want you to know the avenues and your best chances of being able to get a helpful response from them. So there's a few different ways that you can actually reach out to Google when you specifically need Google business profile support. And we're going to start with the one that makes the most sense and kind of go down from there. So the very first place that you want to go if you need any help is the Google business profile support form. And this is how you're going to be able to reach out to them directly through email. So you're going to go to the very first step and you're going to start by selecting the business that you need help with. And then you can actually put in what it is that you need support with. So let's say, you know, you can't change business hours just as an example here. And what this is going to do is come up with some descriptions that they think might actually uh, help might help narrow down this issue. You'll be able to select that and go on to the next step here. Then this is going to give you some different resources some articles that maybe are going to walk you through exactly what you need help with. But if you need a bigger issue, you know, it's not on support, nothing shows up here. You're going to continue on to be able to contact them. Now, depending on specifically what your issue is, you either will be able to get on a call with them, chat or email. Typically the issue always falls under email here, and then you'll need to click through and be able to send them an issue. My best recommendation is to be as specific as you possibly can in demonstrating the issue and why that's a problem for you, why that is a problem, even potentially for the consumers, the searchers who are, are looking for this information and when they come across any issue here. Now, that is the first place that I would recommend that you go for support here. Now, if you receive an email back and it is just generic, make sure that you follow up with any any email that they are sending you and continue to to follow up with information even if you have to repeat yourself a second time do that so that you get a response now let's say that you have done this and you have been waiting and waiting you're not getting a response or you're getting a response you're following up um, doing what we've talked about here and you're not getting a response that's getting you anywhere and you really need to escalate it at that point now at that point you want to explore the second option, which is reaching out to them on social media. So the two places that you can do that are the Google business profile, Facebook page, which you can do here. And what you'll want to do is just find one of their posts and you can respond on that post and try to get some support there. So if you look in the comments, you'll see that they do actually start to respond here and they will see if you have reached out any other place as well. You can also send them a direct message to attempt to get support in that way. Now, they also have an account on Twitter and you can do the same thing there, uh, attempting to contact them on a post and seeing if you can get a response. So that would be your second option. Your next option up is going to be the Google business profile help community. And this is really more of a forum so it's not so much meant for uh, support in the same way, and you're actually not gonna get a direct response from Google here. Now, the people who are managing this are the Google product experts. Now, these experts can help resolve your issue, and if your issue is actually seen as a bigger need, uh, these product experts decide that Google is the one that needs to directly address this issue that you're having. They are the ones that are able to escalate that issue to Google. Uh, it is best though that you're not just trying to hit all of these at the same time or doing these in a different order. Do start with that contact form. Make sure that you are following up. And when you are not seeing either a response or you are getting responses, but you're just going in circles, you're not really actually getting the support that you need. That's when you start to take it to the next step. Go to those social media profiles and attempt to get the support there. And your last alternative is going to be that form to see if you can get any more insight from the Google product experts themselves. Sometimes they are able to actually help you and, and narrow it down, figure it out. 
But if they cannot help you, they can determine that you do have a big enough need to be able to escalate that issue directly to Google so that hopefully that will then get you the response that you are looking for. So if you need this support, I wish you the best of luck. This is the best course of action that you're going to have in getting Google's support. I hope this is helpful to you in the event that you need it. If you have any questions at all, post below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.